Monday and I'm only going to be in my room for a very short amount of time this morning. Uh, I got here at 6.40 and luckily the gate was open. Sometimes they don't unlock the gate surrounding the portables till 7. But it was open this morning which was a good thing. So I've been in my room for about 20 minutes. I haven't really done much. I really was just sort of unloading the car, getting it all in here and I don't have a lot of time. I know what I'm going to do to this wall. So from the edge of this bulletin board coming round up until this bar right here, I'm going to go ahead, take these things down, put the flagstone paper up, and then put these things back up. I think that having a little flagstone paper in my teacher nook will make a huge difference. And I know I thought I was going to put up the big bookcase there, but I do need to actually hang up my calendar and my PBIS behavior chart. So I think I might just paper, re-put the alphabet back up, re-hang the Hogwarts flag, and then just, you know, hang up my two um, pocket charts right there and call it a day. One calendar, one behavior chart, and put that on top of the flagstone. I think that'll be beautiful. I really do. And again, it didn't have to cost me anything to do this. I'll, initially, I'll be honest, I kind of just didn't want to put flagstone on this wall because the wall as a whole would have been really, really difficult to paper. But to just do this nook will actually be a piece of cake for me. It's not a big deal at all. One thing I did get was another lamp for the room. So now I have the two lamps. And right now it's still kind of like twilight outside. Or not twilight, but um, like dawn. So it's a little too dark to just have the lamps on. Plus, if I were trying to film with just some lamps on, this video would be almost pitch black. So that's why all the lights are on. But I, it, it will be nice to just have the natural lighting and a couple of lamps. It'll make for a nice soft effect in the room. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop right now because I do want to be productive for about the next 45 minutes before I really have to leave. This morning we have in-service training. Um, first, we have every year on the first day when the teachers report, we have a breakfast. Administration does that for us every year. And plus, it's kind of nice to see everyone because a lot of times this is the one day a year that you get to see people from the other buildings. Um, there's not a lot of interaction between all the buildings. And then I did mention Saturday that I would show you my PD for this week. And the schedule they sent us was a positively scary looking schedule because it had it had all the buildings intermingled because each building is doing a different kind of a training or a different kind of a workshop. So I basically had to pull out all the pieces that just applied to my building. So here we have my PD for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This morning we're at the community center for our breakfast and bloodborne pathogens every year. Uh, from 10 to 12, we'll be at our home buildings for our procedural staff meetings. 12 to 1, work in rooms, lunchtime. Then 1 to 3 today, we are at the community center learning about PBIS. And then tomorrow, we will be at the high school for introduction to PLCs, continuing with PLCs, lunchtime, and then breakout sessions, working in our small groups, learning about professional learning communities. Wednesday morning uh, will be at the community center for building an instructional infrastructure training. Then we have lunch, and then the rest of Wednesday is work in our rooms. And then Thursday is not mandatory to be here, but the buildings will be unlocked for teachers to come in and finish doing anything that they need to do. I'm kind of hoping to be done done, <laughs> like like really done done by Wednesday when I leave. I mean, I'm willing to even work later Wednesday, stay a little late, just so I can have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Labor Day, Monday, have like a five days at home with my family and my boys. It'll be our last big chunk of time together. We don't have any travel plans or anything like that. We'll just be hanging around at home. Um, but yeah, it'll just, 
it would be nice to have that little time with my family before we kind of get back into the big routine of everything. So with that, I will talk to you soon. The breakfast part of today is over. We had the, the district-wide breakfast and our in-service training, our annual in-service training on bloodborne pathogens. Can I just say, I've now sat through the bloodborne pathogen in-service training for like 17 consecutive years. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys real quick what Susie got me. She brought me a little present today, and in here she brought me the Tales of Beetle the Bard. She got that for me, and then she made this, she got it off of Pinterest, and she printed it and used tea and coffee to age it. She made me a Marauders, a Marauders map with like all the little pieces and everything. I wanted to buy one of these at Universal, when we were at Universal uh, a little over a year ago, but they were like $50. So I am so excited. I couldn't believe she did this for me. It's like, oh my God, you're the best friend in the world. And then she made me my very own elder wand. I look at that. So instead of using my finger pointer, I will be using my wand as my pointer all school year. She made this with hot glue gun, brown paint, and a chopstick. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. That is so great. And then finally, she made me an invisibility cloak. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't really turn me invisible, but I now have all three of the Deathly Hollows. So I am now the most powerful witch in all of the world. My invisibility cloak, the Elder Wand. Oh, and I'm forgetting also the Infinity Stone. She, here we go. She has a little box with an infinity stone. How cool. <laughs> so I had to share that because I just thought that was amazing. That was just, she's just, she likes to be as creative as I am. We're, we're both very, we have very similar personalities. So I just had to share that because I was so excited when I opened that today. Yeah, so happy. And with that, I'm going to pause because I have to go to my staff meeting where our we're getting a lot of, there's a lot of information coming at the staff meeting, so I will be taking copious notes, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hello, again. Susie and I just finished having lunch. Uh, we ordered a pizza, and we bought a large. We'll have leftovers for tomorrow, because tomorrow is really packed with PD, and we're afraid we may not have enough time to actually go out and eat something. So I am down to like my last seven minutes in my classroom and so I'm like trying like crazy to tidy things up before I have to go to PBIS training which should be fun. I, I already really familiar with PBIS so it's really just gonna be more like a refresher course for me but yeah oh I have to show you um, I had a little time to work in my room today so I did my teacher nook here we go and I love it. I just did a little flagstone. I couldn't go too far because I had the quote there and then the bulletin board here, but I I love it. It's just a little spot to help bring the theme into the rest of the room. So this way it doesn't feel like I have, you know, two thirds of a room that's Harry Potter, but then I had this one whole section that was just nothing. Well, now there's some Harry Potter in here. Plus, I did order new trim to go around here. It's a gray black argyle, which I think will go really well with, you know, the gray flagstone and everything. So, I'm very excited about that. Hopefully, the trim will arrive. Uh, it sh won't be here today or tomorrow. Hopefully, it comes by Wednesday. And then, yeah, so that's what's going on there trying to clean, clean, clean. I ended up ripping one of my torches in half. I tried taping it back together, but it's got a line going right through it now. Not to mention, I kind of like the nook the way it is. I don't think the torches are really needed anymore, so I think we're going to skip the torches. And I also brought back my Daily 5 chart and my schedule chart. I was trying to play around with the Harry Potter font generator. Okay, to make that 
with Harry Potter fonts was going to be a real pain in the butt. <laughs> I mean, like a little piece here, a little piece here, cut this, redo it, resize it. It was like, oh, no, just forget this. You know what? Some things left colorful will be just fine. Um, you know, there's projects I really enjoy doing. You guys know I'm not afraid of hard work. You guys know I love to be creative and crafty. But then there's things that's just a pain in the butt. Those were going to be pains in the butt. And then the Daily Five chart was easy to do, but it was actually coming out really plain. Uh, it just it was like, you know, this is just ugly. So unless I think of something different right now, those are just going to stay exactly the way they are. But, yeah, oy. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm rushing around. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to go to my PBS, PBIS training. And then I think I'm going to come back to the room today to maybe put in like one more hour even after everyone else goes home. Because I would really like to get... Tomorrow we have training all day. Which means I get zero time to work in my room. I will have some time on Wednesday, but like I said, I really didn't want to have to come in on Thursday if it was avoidable. I'm not sure it will be avoidable, but if I can avoid it, I'd like to just stay home. So it's in my interest to come back after the training and put in some more time today. The PBIS training is over, and I know I said earlier that when I came back I was going to stay and work for like an hour, hour and a half, but you know what? I'm missing my boys. I'm going home. I'm going to go home and see my little one, so, and my big one. <laughs> um, so I will talk to you guys more tomorrow.